who did the holes with bottles of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be. Oh, hi, tis the season. And now it's tis the season for Mary. Right, so today, December 8th, is the feast, of course, of the Immaculate Conception of Mary. And yes, it is a holy day of obligation. Here at St. Patrick's of Heather Downs, there's masses at 7 a.m., 8.45, 2 p.m., and 6 p.m. So no excuses. And remember, we got three different churches within three miles of us. So there's lots of choices to get to mass. Now remember, the Immaculate Conception of Mary on the 8th does not refer to Jesus being conceived in her immaculately, which would make sense, wouldn't it? But actually, it refers to the reality that when Mary was conceived, conceived and was born, she was born without sin, obviously, right? So that way she could be the mother of God. God could implant Jesus in her womb right when it was time because she was born without sin. So obviously, the more that we can live without sin, the more that we can live connected to God's spirit in a deep way, the more that love pours out of us and we bear Jesus' spirit in the world. So that's the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. But you may be thinking, Father Mark, what's happening on Saturday? I am so glad you asked. Because this Saturday, which of course is December 9th, here at St. Patrick's of Heather Downs, we are going to be hosting the diocesan celebration for this version of Mary. You may recognize her as Our Lady Guadalupe. Now, Our Lady Guadalupe's feast is actually on this Tuesday, December the 12th, and we will have a special school mass for Our Lady Guadalupe. But she is the patron saint of Mexico, and on this Saturday morning, we'll have the diocesan celebration starting at nine down in the gym in the cafeteria. Um, there'll be breakfast, you know, special Mexican food. Um, there'll be music and Mexican dancers and procession and rosary. Everything will be at a peak at noon on Saturday. I hope all of you, especially the members of St. Patrick's of Heather Downs, can join us for Mass at noon um, with Bishop Thomas. I think it's important. This feast is so powerful, and it's not just for people who are of Mexican heritage. It speaks to all of us. In the 1500s, there was a peasant um, who, of like Aztec Indian type of heritage named Juan Diego, who was going past Tepeyac, and Mary appeared to him. She appeared to him at the very spot that his native um, ancestors were massacred by Spanish conquistadors in the name of God, unfortunately, a hundred years before. And through a series of miracles, Mary has him convince the bishop to build a church on that site to be able to remember his ancestors. To me, I think it's the most powerful of all of the Marian apparitions, personally, in the 2,000 years of our faith. But it's a wonderful thing to celebrate, and it'll just be fun to be able to be able to worship Mary and to pray to God in a different way. And that's why it's so fun being Catholic, because Catholic means universal. So tis the season for Mary these next two days. On Friday the 8th, join us for Mass for the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, and please join us sometime between 9 and, and, and 2, because there'll be lunch after Mass here at St. Patrick's of Heather Downs in the cathedral, excuse me, in the cafeteria, it's another C word, in the cafeteria, and then at Mass here in church at noon. God bless you. Let us pray for Our Lady Guadalupe. Um, 
and our Mother Mary, the Immaculate Conception, for her intercession always. God bless you.